Hey guys, this is Kayla with Stampy Before Anything Else. Today we're gonna show you how to make a really quick card, maybe for somebody who is a healthcare worker and you wanna make a card for one of the healthcare workers but you don't wanna have a whole lot of time to do it, this is gonna be the card for you. So we're gonna use a stamp set. I'm gonna use the Everyday Thanks stamp set and we're gonna be using the Band-Aid, the Thank You For Everything You Do, and then the Stethoscope here. You can replace it with any of the other designs that you'd like or use a stamp set that you have that is similar. We're gonna use some Stampin' Blends. I'm using the Light Smoky Slate in Light Sweet Sorbet colors. I'm gonna to use our Take Your Pick tool. You can also use some snips or some scissors. I'm gonna be using the crafting knife on our glass mat, so make sure you stick around and see how I do that. Some rhinestones, Coastal Cabana and Basic Gray ink, and then some Coastal Cabana, Basic Gray, and Coastal Cabana cardstock. You can find all the measurements to these on our blog, and that is in the description of this video. So let's get started making this card. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on this smaller piece of basic white cardstock using our basic gray ink. And I'm just going to ink up our sentiment and stamp it on that basic white cardstock. Okay, now I'm going to adhere that to our basic white gray cardstock. And then I'm gonna take our bigger piece of basic white cardstock and I'm going to center our sentiment right in the middle of our tall basic white piece because we're going to stamp our band-aids above and below the sentiment. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm gonna bring our Coastal Cabana ink in and our Band-Aid, and we are going to ink that up and stamp four Band-Aids above and below the sentiment. All right, that's good enough for me. It's hard to do when you have a camera right in front of your face. But the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our light sweet sorbet and I'm gonna color in the hearts on the band-aids. Okay, next I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of basic white cardstock and we are gonna take our basic gray ink again and our stethoscope and we're gonna stamp that. Then we're gonna color it in using that Sweet Sorbet Stampin' Blend again. And I'm gonna use our Light Smoky Slate to color in the end of the stethoscope. And we are gonna take either your scissors or since I have a glass mat, I'm gonna be using our crafting tool, which is a part of our take your pick tool. This is really nice. I should be doing this with the cover on so I don't accidentally cut myself. But you can actually twist these off and customize what the tool looks like for you. Um, there are a whole bunch of like interchangeable like scoring tools or this helps get the little tiny pieces out of your die cuts, a whole lot of options. So when you are using the crafting tool, what I recommend is to push down gently, well, not gently, firmly, but instead of rotating your hand, you're gonna rotate the paper around, being mindful to not get your fingers in the way so you don't accidentally cut yourself. So this is gonna give you a nice, clean, rounded cut, just like it would if you're using scissors. So since I'm doing this on a glass mat, it is cutting pretty easily for me. And what's nice about this glass mat is that it doesn't scratch, so I don't have to worry about using my crafting tool because it doesn't leave a mark, which is so cool. So now that I'm done with that, it just pops out really easily. This is great if you're not really good at using scissors or if you just don't have the physical capability, but you can push down on something and move the paper with your other hand. So that's a really good tip to have. 
Uh, next, we are going to take our Coastal Cabana and we are going to adhere our Band-Aids and Sentiment onto that. And then we are going to adhere our Coastal Cabana piece. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll call it that to our basic white card base. And then I'm gonna take some dimensionals and I am going to pop up the stethoscope. And then I'm gonna bring our rhinestones in and my take your pick tool and there's an and that you could put on this that has a little bit of putty and it'll help pick up your gems a lot easier than if you were to do this with like the pointy end or just using your fingers, which I have done in the past, but this just makes the job a lot easier than if you were to do that any other way. So this is the final product. I hope you guys liked the card. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel for more projects like this. If you wanna learn how to get this glass matte, make sure that you are joining our newsletter because when you do join, you also get five free tutorials of to make other cards. So make sure you do that. Thanks everyone.